Welcome to part two. I'm going to take you through reinstalling your center console. Let's get started. Okay, so let's start putting everything back together. Go ahead and feed those little tabs back into their little slots. Once they're back into their slots, you should just be able to press this back into place and it'll click pretty firmly. Letting you know it's back in place. So you're going to want to take the sharp ends here, the pointed ends. They're going to go in first. And then you're going to feed your wiring through that initial hole. And lay down flat. Now go ahead and screw these screws back into their holes. This is a pretty important step to keep your center console ashtray trim from moving about and just coming undone. Especially if you happen to break some of these clips up front. I broke one on my first removal of the center console. Once you've got these screwed back in, Go ahead and feed your wiring back through those little hoops, making sure you're not pinching anything or cutting anything by accident. Should just fit straight through those little clips and then clip it back into its little harness. Here, you should hear a pretty audible click to let you know it's seated. And there you go. That's that put back together. Let's go ahead and put it back in the car. Okay, so putting it back into the car takes just a little finessing to get it in place. You want to push it as far forward as possible, set it up over the e-brake, make sure your seat belts are out of the way when you slowly lower it down. It's not going to fit perfectly down the first time, because it's going to take just a little bit of finessing. But before you get it completely seated, you want to take these little brackets that you took out and reinsert those. These brackets, these little lips here, want to be towards each other. So when you're putting it in, they'll sit just like that. Both of these little lips will face inwards towards each other. So once you get one side in, go ahead and take one of the bolts and seat it in place. So when you lift the center console up to get the other one in, the other side doesn't fall back out. Once you've got these brackets back into place, the fit double check all of your wiring back here make sure that you're still not pinching anything that's really important here because you could cut wires in half and that would just be a bad day so from here you're pretty much good to go as far as reinstalling everything just put everything back the way that you took it out I personally like to clip this clip back in place just to make sure that I don't forget it it is a little bit of a hard one to clip back in place because this clip is undone from unclipping it a couple of times. Just want to clip it in hard and fast. There you go. Clipped into place. Now go ahead and feed these screws back in just because they're a little hard to get in and out with that foam piece in place. Once you've got these four screws back into place, go ahead and fit your foam piece back in. This foam piece is really simple to get back into place. You can just kind of force it back in with no problems. Just make sure you're not pinching anything or tearing anything. Secure all of your nuts and bolts. And that should be the finished product of your install slash takedown of the interior.
quick note these wires back here the way that they go back into place this big plate looking thing you want to tuck this little end with the connection through this little hole and then these little clips here that are really flexible push it up into those clips first and then it should sit in place just at an angle and then push backwards this big clip here should click back into this little bracket with no problems just as long as it's facing the right way and then this little purple clip here should fit in this little tiny square with no problems and then this cover you want to make sure that you get this cylinder side clicked in first that's the first thing that should be clicked into place and then the rest of it should just push into place And there you have it. Center console takedown and put back. Your interior trim piece is removed. Everything's pretty simple and straightforward. If you have any questions or anything, don't hesitate to message me and ask. If you found this video interesting, please leave a like. Comment down below what you guys would like to see next. And if this is your first time stopping in, go ahead and click that subscribe button for more content like this. Until next time, I will see you guys later.